In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the volume of a sphere and the surface area of a sphere. So let's talk about the volume first. Let's say, I know this looks like a circle, but treat it as a sphere. So let's say if we have a sphere with radius r. To find the volume of the sphere, it's 4 thirds pi r cubed. And to calculate the surface area, is simply 4 pi times r squared. These are the two formulas that you need to know in reference to a, a sphere. If you know these equations, then you should be fine. And you also need to know how to use them. So let's talk about that uh, shortly. Let's start with this problem. What is the volume of a sphere that has a radius of 5 centimeters? Let's start with the equation. V is equal to 4 over 3 pi r cubed. So that's the volume of a sphere. All we need to do in this problem is plug in the value of r. So r is 5. 5 to the third power, that's 5 times 5 times 5, that's 125. 125 times 4 is 500. So the answer is 500 pi divided by 3 and the units cubic centimeters. If you want to get the decimal equivalent of that answer, just type it in your calculator. 500 pi over 3, this is using the exact value of pi by the way, it's 523.6 cubic centimeters. So you can write your answer like that if you want to. But for the majority of this video, I'm going to write the answer in terms of pi. Number two, what is the surface area of a sphere with a radius of 8 inches? Well, let's begin by writing the formula first. The surface area is 4 pi times r squared. And we already have the value of r. It's 8 inches. So it's 4 pi times 8 squared. 8 squared, or 8 times 8, that's 64. And if you multiply 64 by 4, that's going to give you 256. So the answer is 256 pi. Now, what are the units of surface area? In the case of volume, it could be inches cubed, cubic feet, cubic yards, cubic something. Something raised to the third power. Now, whenever you're dealing with area, you're dealing with square units. In this case, it's going to be inches squared or square inches. So it's 256 pi square inches. Any type of area, it could be lateral area, surface area, or just area in general, it's usually uh, unit squared or square units. Number three, what is the radius of a sphere that has a volume of 216 pi cubic centimeters? So how can we find the radius given the volume of a sphere. Well, we need to write an equation that connects volume and the radius of the sphere. So it has to be this one. V is equal to 4 thirds times pi times r cubed. So we have the value of V is 216 pi. And our goal is to find the value of r. The first thing we could do is divide both sides by pi. So we could cancel uh, that if we want to. Next, let's multiply both sides by 3, just to get rid of the fraction on the right side. If we multiply both sides by 3, these will cancel. Now, 216 times 3, we know that 200 times 3 is 600, and 16 times 3 is 48. So this is going to be 648. That's equal to 4 r cubed. Now, let's divide both sides by 4. 600 divided by 4 is 150, and 48 divided by 4 is 12. So if you add 150 and 12, you should get 162. So 162 is equal to r cubed. So now we need to take the cube root of both sides. So these will cancel. And so r is equal to the cube root of 162. Now you can type this in your calculator as 162 
raise it to one third if you want to. And you should get about 5.45, and the units will be centimeters. So that's the length of the radius of the sphere. That's how you could find it. Number four, what is the diameter of a sphere with a surface area of 36 pi square feet? Using this formula, we could find the radius. The surface area is 4 pi r squared. And once we have the radius, we could find the diameter. The diameter is simply 2r. So let's say if you have a circle with radius r, the diameter is basically twice the radius. It's from one end to the other end, and it passes through the center of the circle, or sphere. Now let's go ahead and find the radius first. So the surface area is 36 pi. So let's cancel pi, and then let's divide both sides by 4. 36 divided by 4 is 9. So 9 is equal to r squared. Now let's take the square root of both sides. So the radius is 3 feet long, and the diameter is twice the length of the radius, so it's going to be 2 times 3. Therefore, the diameter is 6 feet long. And so that's how you could find the diameter of a sphere. Here's another one that we could work on. Number 5. The volume of a sphere is 972 pi cubic yards. What is the surface area of the sphere? So how can we find the surface area if we're given the volume of a sphere? Well, we need to use both equations that we know. V is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed, and the surface area is 4 pi r squared. We have the volume ready. We need to use the first equation to find r. Once we could find r, we could plug it into the second equation to get the surface area. So let's work with the first equation. So V is 972 pi. So the first thing that we need to do is cancel pi, since it's on both sides. Now what do you think we need to do next? What's our next step? What I prefer to do is to multiply both sides by 3, so these can be canceled. On the left side, it's going to be 972 times 3, and that's equal to 4 times r cubed. 972 times 3, that's 2,916. Next, we need to divide both sides by 4, so we can get r cubed by itself. 2916 divided by 4 is 729, so that's equal to r cubed. Now at this point, we need to take the cube root of both sides. 729 raised to the 1 over 3, which is the cube root of 729, that's equal to 9. So 9 is equal to r. So now that we have the value of r, we can plug it in to the second equation. So the surface area is going to be 4 pi times 9 squared. 9 squared is 81, that's 9 times 9. And 4 times 81, if you multiply 4 times 8, that's 32. So 4 times 80 is 320, and then 4 times 1 is 4. When you add 4 and 320, that'll give you 324. So the surface area is 324 pi square yards. And so that's the final answer for this problem. Here's another problem that's similar to the last one, but not exactly the same. So go ahead and try it for practice. So we're given a surface area this time instead of the volume, and we want to find a volume instead of the surface area. So let's start with this equation. We need to calculate r first, just like we did before. The surface area is 196 pi. So let's cancel pi, and let's divide both sides by 4. 196 divided by 4 is 49. So 49 is equal to r squared. And if we take the square root of both sides, r is equal to 7.
So now that we have that, we can use this equation to find the volume. So all we need to do is replace r with 7. 7 to the third power, that's 7 times 7 times 7. So that's basically 49 times 7. That's 343. 343 is not divisible by 3, but we can multiply it by 4. So the final answer is 1372 pi divided by 3 as a fraction. And let's not forget the units. The units are cubic centimeters. So that's how you can basically find the volume if you're given a surface area. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and have a good day.